In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to take a media file and extract the audio out of it. Right now I have this nice FLV file. But unfortunately I don't have the MP3 for this or a WAV file. So I'm using a program called VLC Media Player and I really recommend that you use this to play any media but definitely when you extract. So let's choose VLC Media Player. Works on Windows and Mac. It is a free program. Their official website is videoland.org. Go here, download it, go ahead and install it. Once you install it, we're gonna open the file up in there. So I have all of my default media just automatically going there. I can double click on this and it pops me over there automatically. But we're gonna do an advanced open. We're gonna go to the media button or they might change this in a future version for the file button or I'm not sure what it is on a Mac. We're going to go down to open advanced. Now in here in this area you can open multiple files. We're going to choose add a file and going to scroll over to your folder that has your media in it and I'm here for hours and choose open. Once you have that show more options check that and it brings up some more information and you could uh, use this to play a different file at the same time just to see what it sounds like if you want to throw in a different sound file. And we're going to change the play button and change that over to convert. Now that it's on the convert screen, we have to change some different options. And in the profile, you can choose how you want to convert it. Do I want this in H.264 plus an MP3? Uh, you can choose AUG format, WMA, all types of different formats. This actually converts your file to many formats. And I'm going to save mine as an MP3, and then I'm going to hit the configuration button. Now, in this profile, it automatically gives me the settings. However, I like to go in here and choose some myself. Now, you might find better luck choosing RAW, and another way to choose RAW, it automatically chose MP4, MOV. Another way to choose RAW is to choose this first audio MP3 here. When you go into your settings, you'll see that it chose RAW for you. Now play around with those, see which one works best, but look at all these different codecs that you get to use and then go to the video codec and if you want to keep the video, go ahead and uh, tick this box and choose the codec you want for it. However, from the very beginning, what I like to do is choose audio MP3 or MP4 and then go into the configuration, go straight over to the audio codec and tweak this from here. Now I have mine set up on 192 gigabyte bitrate. If this is your first time ever doing this, this number is going to be 128. And I manually changed this up to 192. And I haven't done very much testing to see if that really helps, but it makes me feel better anyway. And in the codec here, you could choose a few different wave and audio formats. Okay, so with it on MP3, I also changed my sample rate from 44.1 to 48,000. Okay, so after we change this from 48,000, go ahead and hit the save button. And now we need a destination file. And go ahead and browse where you want your destination file to be. Now, unfortunately, this won't work unless you do this. So from here, I just choose the same file name, but I change the ending over to an MP3. And hit save. Now you should have everything set up here and go ahead and hit the start button and in doing that you'll see your VSL MIDI player is actually converting. You can see that bar down there going pretty quickly and it converted it completely. Now it's playing it like normal. Let's go ahead and stop that and let's look in here. Now we have a new MP3 file here and I can right click on it, open it up in VLC Media. 
and now I don't have any video here. It's a perfect MP3 file. And you can open that in your favorite audio editor and you will now have great audio to use in any of your projects. This is really nice if you have this video and you have the render here, but you didn't have the audio that came with that. Uh, it's also nice if you have old footage. I have footage from years ago that we just unfortunately did not save our audio. Uh, and we have everything mixed together. So this extracts it for you. Hope you guys enjoy.